Welcome students to this new lecture of soil science. So the title of this lecture is, you know, soil structure. Okay. Let us look at soil structure. What is soil structure? Well, soil structure, just like soil texture, is one of the important soil physical property. And, you know, soil structure is nothing but the arrangement of the primary soil particles. You know, these soil, primary soil particles are sand, salt, and clay, and other soil materials into district aggregates, okay? And this picture shows us an example of soil, struct of soil structure. This is a soil structure, this is a soil structure, this is a soil structure, okay? So soil structure can can be described in terms of soil type, okay, relative size and grade. And in terms of type, we mean that the shape of the pad and the shape of the pad, you know, the shape of the pad can be spherical, platy, blocky, and prism like. You know, and in terms of relative size of pad, the pad can be fine, medium, coarse, or even you know very coarse. You know. And in terms of grade or degree of development of pad, is we we you know we say in this case the the, the, the structure the, the structure is strong or moderate or weak in other words how how easy it is to break you know the a soil pad is it weak to break a, a soil pad you know if it's not easy yet not difficult then we will, we will say that you know the the, the grade of of that, of that particular structure is moderate and if it is difficult to break you know, a soil structure will say that the, the soil structure is strong, okay? Now, let us look at pads. What are pads? Pads are structural units, you know, and they have distinct boundaries and well-defined planes of weakness between the aggregates, okay? Pads consist of primary particles, which are sand, silt, and clay, bound together by cementing agents like organic matter, clay, and high grass oxides of iron and aluminium. Pads can take several shapes, okay? For example, if we look at this, you know, at this figure, we have these individual soil particles which are sand, silt, and clays, okay? This is a schematic diagram, okay? And these primary soil particles will form a pad when they aggregate together. They will form a pad, okay? And these pads will combine together to form soil structure, okay? Now, this figure or picture shows us, a, a, you know, a typical diagram of a soil pad, okay? Now, paired shapes can be referred as, you know, soil structures, okay? So these are paired shapes, okay, or structures. We have granular and crumb, you know, and these two can, when combined, are called spherodial structures, you know. And we have blocky structures, we have prismatic structures, we have columnar structures, we have plated structures, we have single grain structures, and we have massive structures. Okay. Now let us look at them one by one in detail. Okay. Let us start with granular structures. Now, granular structure resembles cookie crumbs and is usually less than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. So if you measure 
the diameter of these of, of a particular structure so if the diameter of that you know of that you know soil pad is less than 0 0.5 then you know you know that is an, a, 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 a characteristics of a granular structure okay and these you know granular structures are commonly found in surface horizon in other words, they are commonly found in you know they are commonly found you know from the o or a horizon where roots have been growing okay so this is a schematic diagram of a granular structure and this is a typical you know picture of a granular structure okay this is also you know a picture of a granular structure so granular structures and you cram cram structures they are similar and these structures are good for you know crop uh, crop production because you know they have good granite the second soil structure is the blocky structure now this blocky structure is an irregular blocks are uh, irregular blocks that are usually 1.5 to 5 centimeters in diameter okay you said that the you know the granular structures are less than 0 0.5 in diameter but the blocky structures are 1.5 to 5 centimeters in diameter okay and these blocky structures can be divided into two we have sub angular and angular blocky structures now if we look at this this is a soil profile okay and you know this arrow red arrow shows us you know you know you know blocky structures in this soil you know this soil profile okay and this is a schematic diagram of you know blocky structures now this figure again shows us you know the difference between angular blocky structures and sub angular blocky structures this is an example of a of an angular blocky structure and this is an example of a sub angular you know blocky structure now so you know angular blocky structures they have these sharp edges they have these sharp edges very sharp edges and the the sub angular block structures the edges of the sub angular structures are carved okay they are carved you know they are not so sharp okay and these structures are commonly found in the b horizon or in the subsoil particularly in the humid regions and may occur sometimes in the a horizon but it, this this is a ray okay another, another type of soil structure is pris prismatic structure and these are vertical columns of soil that might be a number of centimeters long as you can see these are vertical columns okay and this so in this profile we have these vertical columns you can see and these you know prismatic structures are usually found in lower horizons okay in other words in the sea horizons usually they are found in the sea horizon okay you know from the sea horizon another type of structure is the columnar structure and these are vertical columns just like the you know the prismatic structures of soil that have a salt kelp but if but the difference between the columnar structure and the you know prismatic structure the the, the, the columnar structure structure they have this salt cap on top on top at the surface they have you know salt accumulation of salt okay as you can see in this you know schematic diagram okay and this is the actual diagram picture or picture of the columnar structure okay and they are usually found you know in arid climates okay 
Another type of soil structure is a plate structure. These are thin, flat plates of soil that lie horizontally, as you can see in this schematic diagram. And you know, this soil profile shows us the actual, you know, plate structure. Okay, as you can see, these plate like, you know, structures. Okay, and these are usually found in compacted soils. Okay. Another type of soil structure is single grain structure. When soil is broken into individual particles that it do not stick together, for example, by tillage, if you break now the soil structure, if you take an aggregate or dry soil and you grind it, now you form these single grain structures. These are always the are always always accompany accompanied a loose consistency okay and these are commonly found in sandy soils okay naturally they are found in in, in sandy soils okay? and this you know this, in this diagram this this diagram shows a, a, a typical you know single grain structure just like you know just 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 like um the loose sand okay and the last soil you know so soil, soil you know structure type is massive structure you know this one soil has no visible structure and is hard to break apart and appears in very large cloth and this is a typical you know diagram of of a massive structure and these type of of of, of structure they are usually found in rice fields you know. now we have looked at you know types of of soil structures let us look at the classes of soil structures the size or class of the pads is described as fine medium and coarse okay now how does structure affect water movement in the soil in soils with good structure the pore space that occur between pads is relatively large and facilitate water and air movement well developed structure is very important in clay soils and clay soils with poor structure restrict water and air movement okay now these are the structures that we have just learned about with granular prismatic massive single grain blocky and plating and this diagram shows us the degree of water movement in these six structures water moves very easily in this granular structure which is good for crop production water does not move you know very easily in prismatic and water moves very difficult in massive structures obviously and in single grain water moves very fast so these single grain structures um, their ability to hold water is very poor okay and the degree of water movement in these blocky structures is moderate and in plated structures is very slow so now is it possible to alter or to change soil structure well unlike texture structure can be changed by tillage tilling soils that are too wet or compacting soils with heavy equipment can break down natural structure units okay now let us look at the descriptions of field soil structure how how can we describe these structures you know at the field now this is an example of a soil structure all right this structure is weak medium angular blocky structure 
weak, you know, stands for the grade of, 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 of the soil structure. Medium stands for, you know, medium stands for the size of the structure. And angular block stands for the type of the structure. Okay. This is another example. This structure is strong, very coarse, prismatic structure. You know? It is the type of structure is prismatic because it has these long prisms, okay, columns. And it is very coarse, you know, the size, very coarse. As you can see, this is a very large, you know, prism. And it is strong when you break, it's difficult to break this, you know, this prism, okay? Now, if we look at the hierarchical organization of soil structure, you know, hierarchical organization of soil aggregates is, is the characteristics of most soils. And even the smallest particles turns out to be aggregates made up of numerous primary soil particles, as you, as you can see in this, you know, in this picture. Now, if we take a, an aggregate, right, this is an aggregate, okay? This is an aggregate, right? So if we zoom in, you know, we will have micro aggregates. We will see the micro aggregates, okay? And if we further zoom in in this micro aggregate, we will have, we will see these sub micro aggregates. And if we zoom in in this sub micro aggregate, we will see the particle where, you know, the primary particles, which are salt, you know, clay and sand. But in this case, we do not have, you know, the sand. Okay. Now, let us look at the grades of soil structure. The term weak, moderate, or strong are used to describe the grade or how stable the pairs are and how hard they are to break apart. Okay. Now, lastly, if we look at soil texture and soil structure, texture refers to the size of bricks used. What I'm trying to say, if we look at soil texture and, and structure, and if one, if we compare uh, these two to a house, you know, texture will represent the size of bricks which are used to build a house, okay, and structure will represent the arrangement of bricks, okay, and the house represents soil structure, okay. Holes, doorways, and windows in the house represent associated pores and channels. Okay. So, guys, that's it for today. And I hope you have learned something new. And if you have questions, you can ask me in our WhatsApp group, or you can ask me if you are un if you are not if you are not comfortable to ask in our whatsapp group then you can ask me directly on my whatsapp number and you know enjoy your day thank you